हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू जे सी ई कनेक्ट सीरीज ऑफ लेक्चर्स सो वी हैव स्टार्टेड मॉड्यूल नंबर थ्री दैट इज डायनामिक्स ऑफ फ्लूड फ्लो सो वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द फ्लूड मैकेनिक्स एंड इट्स ब्रांचेस देन द टाइप्स ऑफ फ्लूड फ्लो steady and unsteady flow then uh, laminar and uh, turbulent flow one the flow profile and its types uniform and non uniform flow streamline flow rate of flow or discharge we have discussed That the equation for the rate of flow that is Q equal to a into v, and even we have discussed about the continuity equation. So the equation for the continuity also that is a one v one equal to a two v two. Uh, that is uh, the fluid flowing through the pipe at all the cross cross section. The quantity of fluid per second is constant. so we have expressed in terms of uh, equation that is a1 v1 equal to a2 v2 is equal to a3 v3 it goes so in today's lecture so we'll discuss uh, about the causes for the flow of motion of fluid as we already defined the dynamics of fluid that is the study of motion of fluid flow along with the force causing the flow as i said there are two branches of dynamics one is a kinematics and another one is a kinetics kinematics as i said earlier kinematics as kinematics so here kin means kinetic energy matics means we are applying mathematics for the analysis of fluid so the study of motion of fluid we are analyzing through a mathematical equations okay so we are not bothering about what causes the motion of the fluid so here we bother about only its position that is a displacement velocity acceleration the rate of flow so these things will discuss in case of kinematics hence we can say it is a study at rest as well as in motion without considering the cause for the motion that is kinematics but in this particular module we will be discussing about only the dynamics of fluid flow means what causes the motion of the fluid means about the forces we are going to study so what are those forces needs to be considered which cause the motion of the fluid so those forces generally classified as body forces and surface forces so whenever a fluid mass starts flowing it is subjected to several forces so whenever the fluid starts flowing it is uh, subjected to several forces and these forces uh, vary the acceleration of the flow as well as the energies means uh, the as the fluid starts flowing so it will gain the energy that is a kinetic energy because of that this velocity get changes means automatically if the velocity changes means acceleration get changes means whatever the forces which are been acting on the fluid motion they also will vary the acceleration of the fluid that is a uh, acceleration of the flow of flow as well as the energies involved in the motion so the study of motion of fluid mass the study of motion of fluid mass 
considering the forces acting on it as well as the energies is known as the dynamics of fluid flow so here the forces acting on the fluid mass are categorized mainly the body forces and the surface forces and one more is the line forces then the body forces or it it can also called as a volume forces so it is also called as a volume forces because uh, it is proportional to the volume of the body it is proportional to the volume of the body uh, means here the it is uh, the body forces is uh, distributed over the entire mass or the volume of the element it is usually expressed per unit mass of the element or medium upon which the forces act example the gravitational force uh, which acts towards the earth center gravitational force usually it is uh, taken as a uh, means it is proportional to the weight of the body that is m into g that is a mass as i said which is distributed over the entire mass or volume of the element okay and when electromagnetic force it is also called as a body forces so it this electromagnetic force is uh, uh, between the force between the atoms and molecules so this also uh, and comes under the body forces and one more type is a uh, surface forces so surface forces which are uh, depends dependent on the area of contact so such as uh, pressure shear turbulence compressibility etc comes under surface forces means the forces exerted on the fluid on the fluid element by its surroundings through direct contact at the surface then the surface forces has two components mainly they have two components the first one is a normal force then second one is the shear force and the normal force which will be acting along the normal to the area and the shear force which will be acting along the plane of the area suppose if you take a body like this the normal force generally will be acting on this surface perpendicularly normal and one more is the shear force that is acting on the surface like this along the plane of the area so these two will comes under the surface forces okay so means the it could be of a pressure force it could be of a shear force it could be of a turbulent force it could be of a compressibility these will be uh, in contact with the surface hence these are been classified as a surface forces so mainly these two that is a body force and the surface force body force is proportional to the volume of the body that is uh, it will be uh, we can call it as a proportion to the weight of the body and surface force are dependent on the area of contact and one more type is line force the line forces are uh, proportional to the length line forces are proportional to the length line forces so exam example surface tension surface tension we measure per unit length the force acting per unit length that is called as a line forces okay so mainly there are uh, two types and uh, one more type is uh, the line force they are proportional to the uh, length of the uh, body okay so again uh, under these categories again uh, will go on classifying various types of forces which which cause the motion of the fluid so thus the dynamics of fluid flow uh, as uh, we have defined the dynamics the dis thus the dynamics of fluid flow is the study of fluid motion with the forces causing the flow so forces means it it could be a body force or it could be a surface force forces causing the flow the dynamic behavior of the fluid flow is analyzed see the dynamics behavior of the fluid flow is analyzed by using the newton's second law of motion very very important so we will be using the newton's second law of motion 
that is f equal to m into a okay so this is very familiar equation you all know f equal to m into a this force this uh, law will be uh, utilizing for the analysis of fluid motion there is a net force acting i am saying it is a net force so there are n number of forces which may cause the fluid motion so we are taking the sum of all the forces that is a net force acting on a fluid element so that is equal to the mass times of the acceleration okay so in whichever direction you apply in that direction the acceleration get changes so here mass of the element or that is fluid element is a constant the change what we are we are getting is in acceleration means the fluid may changes its acceleration depending upon the force applied okay so if you are applying in a for uh, applying a force in x direction in the x direction the acceleration may get change okay so here they were using the newton's second law of motion which relates the acceleration with the forces see which relates acceleration with the forces means with as the force get increases the acceleration also increases it is directly proportional so the fluid is assumed to be incompressible here means we are studying incompressible fluids and non viscous fluids incompressible and non means incompressible means the density of the fluid will be remains constant and non viscous that is we are considering uh, ideal fluids that is non viscous fluids in this okay i hope you understood this one so let us study about the equation of motion very very important as i said for the analysis of fluid motion we will be utilizing newton's second law of motion that is f equal to m into a see according to the newton's second law of motion the net force f acting in x direction here it is written fx acting on a fluid element in the direction of x is equal to the mass m of the fluid element multiply by the acceleration a in x direction thus mathematically we can write fx equal to m into a you can see here you can write mathematically fx into m into ax so uh, thus as i said there are various uh, uh, forces which may cause the fluid to move so in that as i said the body forces and there one is a su surface forces and one more is a line forces so the body forces and surface forces again uh, classified as uh, the gravity forces so in a fluid flow the following forces are present so here it is a net force the sum of all the forces the net force f is equal to m into x so the gravity force it may present because of the gravitational force then the uh, pressure force because of the pressure what we apply on the fluid and uh, even the force due to viscosity that is the intermolecular force between the fluids fluid molecules then the force due to turbulence that is ft and force due to compressibility so these all forces which cause the fluid to move okay so sometimes these all could present or uh, sometimes uh, some forces are more predominant and some forces are less predominant but these all will be present for the motion of the fluid so depending upon the predominance uh, uh, we anal uh, take into consideration and we analyze the fluid motion by considering the newton's second law of motion so thus the above equation becomes this equation becomes so this is the uh, uh, see so this is according to the newton's second law of motion according to that this is the equation so these all forces which will acting on a fluid uh, and they cause the motion of the fluid and thus we can write the above equation as fx equal to 
एफ जी मीन्स ग्रेविटी फोर्स इन एक्स डायरेक्शन प्रेशर फोर्स इन एक्स डायरेक्शन एंड विस्कस फोर्स इन एक्स डायरेक्शन दैन द टर्बुलेंट फोर्स इन एक्स डायरेक्शन एंड कॉम्प्रेसिबल फोर्स इन एक्स डायरेक्शन सपोज इफ यू आर द फोर्स यू आर अप्लाइंग इन वाई डायरेक्शन यू कैन राइट यूर वाई ओके राइट सपोज इफ द फोर्स ड्यू टू कॉम्प्रेसिबिलिटी दैट इज एफ सी इज नेग्लिजिबल दैन द रिजल्टिंग नेट फोर्स विल बी मीन्स सिंस वी आर कंसिडरिंग इनकॉम्प्रेसिबल फ्लूड्स so incompressible fluid means as i said the density will be remains constant and compressibility will be uh, present only for the uh, gases and air molecules uh, so uh, here we are neglecting the compressibility force it will not come into picture and then remaining uh, force uh, there is a net force will be considering the remaining forces and the net force becomes fx equal to fz into x fv into x and fv into x plus ft into x and this equation is called as reynolds equation of motion so if we neglect the compressibility whatever the net equation we are getting that is nothing but reynolds equation of motion so this person has uh, considered only these forces and analyzed the fluid motion hence the equation name is reynolds equation of motion suppose for the flow where ft is negligible ft is what the turbulence so ft is what uh, sorry ft is just a minute where ft is turbulence ft is negligible the resulting equation of motion are known as navier stokes equation okay navier stokes equation so here we are neglecting the turbulence okay so if the turbulent is neglected so the remaining equation will be what fx equal to fgx fpx and fvx means gravity force is present pressure force is present and viscous force is present so considering only these forces and this person the navier has Ne has neglected the uh, that is the turbulent force and he is consider the turbulence is zero for his analysis and the re remaining force he has considered and he has obtained the equation that equation is known as what navier stokes equation this equation is known as navier stokes equation further further the one more person has studied about the fluid motion what he does he neglected one more force that is he assumed that if the flow is assumed to be ideal see if the flow is ideal means ideal he has considered the ideal fluid the ideal fluid is one which doesn't have any viscosity if the viscosity is zero means there is no question of viscous forces so if he has considered the ideal fluid and he has assumed as ideal fluid and viscous force he has neglected means he has taken as a zero and the equation of motion are known as euler's equation of motion he has uh, he studied this one uh, fluid motion considering only the two forces that is the net equation becomes sorry the net equation becomes fx equal to fz into fgx plus fbx means he has considered only two forces they are gravity force and pressure force and this equation is known as euler's equation of motion so this is very very important for our study and we are also considering this equation for the analysis of fluid motion and with this equation next we are going to derive one very very important equation that is euler's equation of fluid motion so that is sorry euler's equation of fluid motion by considering the gravity force and the pressure force and uh, the previous equations just uh, they are navier stokes equation and reynolds equation there they are considered all the forces and here the euler has considered only two forces 
he studied and he concluded that only two forces are more predominant for the fluid motion that to ideal fluid and incompressible fluid that is gravity force and the pressure force considering these two forces as a predominant force and the rest all forces he has taken it as a zero